guys, it's Sammy Love here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly obsessions and my monthly detestations. Um, if you're not already, be sure to be subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you can see when my future videos will go up. I'm so sorry about the fire alarm going off. I have not changed it. I'm sorry, it's gonna be annoying, but we'll get past it. But anyways, let's get started on the video. I got my face wax for the first time, and I didn't know what to do, per se. Like, I didn't know steps I had to do to prevent myself from breaking out. And let's just say I broke out. I broke out really, really bad. The wax, it just messed up my face. So I needed to get new skincare. I heard about this brand before, and I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. I was expecting it to be high-end, but it actually is not. It's very affordable. If it wasn't for these products, it would have taken a lot longer for my face to heal from the breakout. But not just that, but it honestly gave me such a clear complexion. My skin has never looked this good in such a long time, and I honestly believe it is this brand. And it is also my toner, which I will mention my toner. My toner is in my favorites, and I'll mention it here a little bit. But you guys... I know y'all are just like, come on girl, get on with it already. But I'm just saying, man, the products, everything's amazing. It's going to be in my life for a very long time. <laughs> Enough talking about that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you all that I have from this brand. It's called Skin Fix, and it is dermatologist approved, I think it's what it's called. I don't know. So this is dermatologist approved, and this is Skin Fix. And honestly, the packaging, I'm just... I love it doesn't even feel drugstore it feels high-end to me so I have the foaming oil cleanser which is what I use first and it removes your makeup but I still you know I go in and I still remove my makeup and then I go in this on top of it and you're just supposed to massage it gently work it in I, I honestly need one pump and I just love it so freaking much you guys my skin is looking amazing I'm not even kidding amazing so the next thing that I use from Skin Fix is their nourishing cream. Now, this cream, I mean, it's not my favorite smell, but it's, I'll get past it. So you can open it up. So what I love is like you can open it up. Actually, no, you can't. Can you? Oh my God, you can. Oh my God, I still have a lot left. That's so crazy. Well, I still have a lot of cream left. I guess you can open it up if you want to. Um, but I still have a lot of cream left, which is actually very surprising to me because I use this a lot. So what I love about this, whoop, what I love about this cream is the pump. Let me try to get in. So you do one pump like that. You just press down and it gives you what you need on your face. I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to put this on my hand. Um, and I just love that because I don't know if you're like me, but I do not portion my size very well whatsoever like I always put too much cream on I'm always having to like bring it down all over my body I'm always have to like put it on my elbows and this just helps me make sure that you know I'm getting not too much not too little I'm getting the right amount and I love that it's very moisturizing I have dry skin dry to combination skin um, and this doesn't affect my t-zones whatsoever it's just an amazing cream I love it so much thing by skin fix that I am loving is their brightening eye cream you guys my dark circles have been so bad for my whole entire life which you know I've accepted I've moved on whatever but honestly I've been using this every day and I have seen such a big difference on my eyes my skin has never looked the same like color I guess you could say because I do have some sunspots and like I'm saying with this brand, I see that my skin looks just so, so radiant and so smooth. And it just like, I feel more confident now without wearing makeup. I'm saying y'all need to try this. You can find this at Target, like I said. You can find this at CVS. You can find it at Ulta. And it's very affordable. It is not too bad. These are my babies right here. Like, I don't think I could live without these anymore. Like, these have made a difference in my life. I need y'all to just like, hear me. Like, these are amazing with the foaming oil cleanser I will go in with my toner and this has been my favorite toner and this was mentioned by Crystal Cruz um, if y'all don't know who she is I will um, put down her YouTube down below it was in her favorites and every time I went to my target they were always sold out so I was just like you know what I just whenever I find it that's when it's meant to be that's how I saw it so I've been going this whole time without having this baby in my life I'm telling y'all it was sold out for a very good reason because this is the this is amazing this toner water is just 
amazing. I honestly love it more than I love my Lush one and I feel like this is going to be a repeat for the rest of my life because this toner water it just it smells so good and it is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Olivera Formula Rose Petal. You guys this stuff is amazing. I'm not even playing. I think with the Skin Fix and this has just made my skin like I said amazing. My makeup my skin has never looked this good. I am not kidding y'all. It's just I'm just I'm just so I'm just so glad I'm finally there with my skin. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and mention the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer Base, and I used this on my first impressions. And you guys, I've used this so much, I need to buy another one. This one is completely empty. It's like empty. Like I cannot get anything out of it. Like you see that? I have scraped this. I need to go pick up another one. And I just love this primer so much because I feel like it gives me an even skin complexion. It does what it's supposed to. It brightens my complexion. That's what it is. I just read the back of it. It says it refines pores, fill, fills fine lines, brightens complexions, even skin tones. And it does do that. It brightens it and evens my skin tone. I wouldn't say it refines my pores, but um, I have been loving this so much. It is getting towards like the hot summer Texas weather, so I am going to have to go in with my Makeup Forever mattifying primer on my nose because my or my nose gets super oily. So this will not do it. Um, but if you have combination skin to dry, this is perfect. Perfect for it. I would mention this. Benefit came out with a Hulu Quick Contour Stick. And I don't know why, and I noticed that I'm not the only one with this problem. It kind of sticks to the, um, the lid, but whatever. It's not a big deal. I don't really necessarily love this to bronze or contour my face. I love this to contour my nose. My nose. So pretty, so creamy. Nose, it is absolutely perfect. I will go in with this cream and then set it with the powder. And I just love how it just blends into my nose and gives me that sharp nose contour that I love to do. And that's it blended out. <clears throat> it blends out really nice. It's just very pretty that I have been using a lot this month is by NYX. It's not new, you guys, but it's just something that I've been using a lot and I want to talk about. It's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I've just been using this so much as a um, white base. And I just, I don't know why, but I guess I forgot how creamy and how blendable it was and how it really catches those light to white um, eyeshadows. And it just blends out so pretty. I used to, back in the day, used to use this for my waterline, but then it kind of got too white for me, so I started going in with a little bit of a tanner one. But you guys, I have been loving blush. I have been loving Becca's Wild Honey Blush this month so much. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh, it's like the perfect brown tan. If you don't want to go in for anything peach, or you know anything too pink something just kind of light and just kind of like sun kiss i do have hers in songbird and it's really really pretty it's a little bit more shimmery this one's a matte one and i honestly just love this for like a bronze neutral blush it's just so perfect eyeshadow palette i don't even know i just you guys this palette has been my ride or die this whole freaking month of April. Since I've got this, I have not put it down. I love the eyeshadows, don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about her highlights. You guys, her highlights, her highlights got me, I mean, crazy. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? You guys, oh my god. Oh my god. You guys, I'm wearing her highlights today. If that's why you're wondering why I'm blinding you, it's because of her highlights. Her eyeshadows are great. Don't get me wrong. I do love her eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. Like, oh my god, you see that? You see that? It's her eyeshadow. You guys, her highlights are even worth it. I think her highlights are more worth it than anything else. Like, this is the bronze one. Oh my god, this is a little too dark for me, but that ain't gonna stop me from using it. You know, I'm gonna figure out some point. Her mattes are just as beautiful. My hands are dirty. Cool. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's not a good one. This white one is honestly my favorite shade ever. I love using this for my inner corner. Let me see if I can do it. You see that? This is the tanner one. I don't know if it's gonna come out. Uh, yeah, it came out. They're so pretty. Her, her eyeshadows are amazing. 
her highlights are incredible I'm not even kidding you guys her highlights are so incredible like those are her mattes these are her two shimmers and then these are her highlights right here these two and this one like another lip favorite has been the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA's lips these have been my favorite lipsticks this month love daddy and I love I'm shook I didn't think that I would love I'm shook but I really do it's so pretty and it looks so gorgeous on my lips oh my god and I love the applicator on these you guys I feel like Jeffree Star has spoiled me with this applicator because now I'm like super picky on my lip applicators oh my god they are so pretty and when they're mixed they have this beautiful mauvey color and honestly both of these together have been my favorite i do like the highlight don't get me wrong but i didn't reach for it as much as i thought i would um but and i didn't use it as much as i thought i would too so that's why i can't really list it in my favorites i did like it and i and i do use it every now and then but it wasn't something that was very constant for me but these lipsticks were you guys so much they're so beautiful they're very long lasting I can't believe I've never tried a Jeffree Star lipstick before because honestly it makes me want to go and get his whole entire collection because they just they last long they feel great on the lips they don't crack um, they withstand a lot because I do eat a lot they withstand a lot and I was just so surprised I wasn't expecting that and I do think that his lipsticks even his formula it's worth giving a try if these two shades aren't for you these lipsticks are amazing right, for setting spray wanting to try the mario um facial spray with rose water i've been wanting to try it for a while now so i thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to try it and let me tell you y'all can see i have tried it like i have tried it i I have up to here like you can barely see it because the lines in it but I have this much I have to go repurchase the big bottle it's not even that much the big bottle is about with four ounces it's 12 bucks that is not bad whatsoever it does make my makeup last it is not mattifying so if you are oily I don't know how this is gonna do to your skin but it does make my makeup last it makes my makeup look good if I'm ex looking extra powdery this definitely helps and it smells good the setting spray has been amazing to me I love it so much I definitely think you should go give it a try I think this size right here is seven dollars so that's not bad but if you do get two of these that's fourteen dollars for four ounces instead of getting the big one which is twelve dollars so you're saving yourself two dollars if you just get the big one guys so don't go back and try you know I only got seven dollars you're wasting you're actually losing two dollars don't do that to yourself don't play yourself do not play yourself cleaning my brushes this month I have been loving the real techniques brush cleaning gel it has just made cleaning my brushes go by so much faster so I have tried the zote soap I have tried olive oil and dish soap and I have tried the mac one and I just feel like this one just kind of cuts the time in half with cleaning my brushes it just really gets deep in there it's not that good with my beauty blenders I'm gonna be totally honest it's really not but when it comes to my brushes this is amazing beauty blenders no brushes so these are my monthly detestations it's nothing against the brand it's just that these products didn't work out for me for whatever reason um, I knew I do I do like some of the brands others products it's just these things did not work out for me well the first thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, it says new yes to cucumber soothing and it is a calming mycocellar cleansing water so I thought I'd give this a go because I ran out of my Garnier one and I'm going to finish it, but I will not be repurchasing this. I feel like I love the pump in here. I love that, you know, it's easy for me to pump out the product, but I feel like I have to use so much of it to remove my makeup, like not even a little bit, so much of it to remove my eye makeup, my makeup. I have to, and it's just, it's more of a hassle, really, like more of a hassle. I'm wasting so many cleansing pads. It's just, it's ridiculous. I just... I just feel like it does work but you have to use a lot of it for it to work and it smells gross I don't know I do not like the cucumber smell whatsoever it smells like Nair like the facial Nair and it just did not work out for me it just smells so bad and it just it just I don't think I've repurchased this I think I'm going to disinfect it and clean it out and keep the pump and use my Garnier one and just put it in here because I do love the pump the pump's amazing I love the idea about that but the product itself 
it just did not work for me this just was not for me I honestly I don't want to say I hate it but I just do not like it whatsoever the other thing is by soap and glory I did review this and y'all saw it it was my first impressions now that I've used it three to four times I can give you all my final review and since it's in my detestations you know I don't like it and I don't like it because of two things it's fat as heck like I can't even get around this and I know they make a smaller one I found out they do make a smaller one but I don't can't even imagine how someone can use this fat one it's just like it's just my mind can wrap around how someone can use it it's so hard to maneuver it's so black I love that it is so black don't get me wrong it is black like it is black black it smells like permit marker it smells like beef jerky actually I smell like beef jerky it just made me hungry anyways the smell doesn't bother me it's that it it takes forever for it to dry it smudges like a mofo and not that good kind of smudge it is just I'm gonna show y'all every time I would clean it up every time I would do something it would just make a big mess you guys a big mess and it takes forever to dry and by I mean forever I mean forever and I just you know like the thinnest line I can make is maybe that one and it's a good thin line but just one small move and then you got this big sucker like it's just you have to be very careful whenever you're working with the thin line and I just don't like that I do not like that whatsoever so this just didn't work out for me I want to try the smaller one um, if I do I will do a video about it and let y'all know what I think but for this one it's just really it. all right guys that is it for my monthly obsessions thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye